the most dangerous thing in our camper for us just because you know when we're getting up if we're not paying attention we could hit our head on here yeah especially when she's getting a little frisky what? <laughs> <laughs> to the channel guys i'm mike and i'm amanda and we're my canda and this is going to be like a six month review slash things we don't like we do like something like that yeah so welcome back to our camper and we're going to give you all the ins and outs of what we've come to find out on these past six months of using it yeah so if you haven't watched the channel before um, we have a Palomino HS2902 backpack edition yeah. truck camper and uh, we have had it about around six months and we've camped in it around what nine times yeah that, we just actually got done with our ninth time yeah so um, yeah we've had it in the shop one time already and uh, we'll go over the things that happened to it and stuff like that all right, so we're gonna start with the, the outside and work our way in. Uh, one of the main things we had problems with, we had to take the dealership, is we had a leak in the fresh water tank underneath, underneath this main step right here, behind this wall. And um, it was pulling up back here. And what it was, was there's a drain right back here. I don't, I, I have no idea what it's for because it's just a drain. Nothing's connected to it yeah. or anything. So, and I guess from the manufacturer, they didn't tighten it that tight and it was just slightly loose and it was just dripping slowly. So I guess it worked itself loose over time going down the road or something like that. We really like these stairs here that fold out those are the ones that we use the most um they stretch out really far and they work well on all of our campsites we've been to sometimes we end up taking them off if we put the camper down low but we like that you have the option to put it in this space here put it right here as well or even there so the versatility of those stairs is very nice um and then of course we've installed that extra long hitch so if you wanted to watch that video, Mike had put up a video of the hitch extension back in the day. You can check that out. And then of course we found out that we absolutely hate that they had put the awning here on this side because all of the campgrounds have everything on this side over here. <laughs> so. We're not really sure why they decided to design it like this, where they put the slide out on the passenger side. The awning and the speakers need to be on the opposite side. Yeah, for sure. Because they are useless on this side. Yeah, and there's there's not a whole lot. I mean, the only thing we've kind of gotten use out of this awning is when Mike's cooking the grill, because we've um, that's another thing we've done. It's, we call it, uh, we got the propane hooked up to a T so that. We have this extra cable we can take out and hook up our grill. So that is convenient because then we can actually set it up. We have a table. Mike could put it here under the awning if it's raining, you know, something like that. So that's one bonus, but still we would prefer the awning on the passenger side. We installed our levelers up on here and we just got our stinky slinky set up all nice and perfect yeah the way i set this up is i just bought uh, a standard uh, tube holder mounted it to the back of the bumper and i made it to where i could just leave this hooked up to the sewer line to the camper 
so I don't have to get all messy and stuff. And I just uh, strapped it with the small bungee cord and it's, it stays up there, works good. And I got, uh, there's two 10 foot hoses in there, so. On one. this side, we also added a magnet. Um, yeah, we just glued, hot glued magnets on here so we can lift this up and hold it on there. So we're prepping for the future when we fill that compartment in. Yeah, that's, that's the easiest thing to add for a manufacturer and they don't do it. I don't <laughs> understand it. Yeah, because all you did was the hot glue, you said. Yeah. And then same thing back here. Um, we tried to put, this is the sewer door here. Yeah. We tried to put the yeah, magnet. But it's not, this door so heavy, it wouldn't hold on that small magnet I put up there. So for now, this is what I'm doing. Just bungee cording up because really they should have made this door open side to this side instead of up because you can only open up so far and they didn't put any kind of uh, tension thing on it. So it just falls, just right falls on your head. Yeah, and you need to get into this compartment often because this is where our uh, pools are to release the black and gray tanks. So. And plus we store some stuff in there because that's the only uh, storage place we got really other than the bumper for outside. Yeah. So, and these bumper storage compartments We'll keep all of our outdoor tools, so our water hose hookup. Um, yeah, our electrical hookup, and that, stuff like that. Yeah, that way it doesn't matter if it gets wet. Um, we got an extra hose in here. Yeah, now. so we bought this, this T for the hose, so we can hook up an extra garden hose at the faucet. And so we can just wash our feet off or dishes or anything like that. So the other issue that we had was the slide. It was, uh, the motors were not syncing up. So it would come out cockeyed, go in cockeyed, so they and said bind that, up. They said that was an easy fix, so they got that con uh, controlled and put back together. Yeah, I mean, all the problems we've had so far are the easy fixes. Yeah. Uh, the dealer had it uh, maybe a little over three weeks, so it wasn't bad. And we would prefer that the awning was over here, but... Yeah, actually, if they would have made the slide a little bit shorter on top, I noticed that the same track for the awning on the other side is on this side, and they could have put the awning on this side over the slide so it's just little things like that that annoy you the last problem that we had was that led strip on the front had those burnt out bulbs so they i guess just replaced the whole strip and now it's good as new yeah which i think i'm gonna do is uh they don't seal it all the way across so water can get behind there and, yeah, I saw that too. and I think that's what made it burn out so I'm gonna get some clear caulk and seal the whole thing in and maybe that'll help last longer they don't last long anyway but maybe that'll help keep it dry okay we're gonna move inside now you got uh like two of these shelves or three of these shelves actually um so they're nice to put little knickknacks in. We keep our keys and remotes in it and stuff. Going in to the dinette. Mike's favorite area. No, <laughs> not hardly at all. Let me close the door. Yeah, so the dinette, we do not like. It's, it's doable, but it's not the greatest. Yeah, it's the, very small. Yeah, the major concern we always end up with is our, we're always kicking each other. You can yeah, you see. can see her knees. Yeah. So there's not a lot of leg space. The seating is not that bad. 
No, and it's actually really comfortable for sure. Like I like these seats a lot. Yeah, I usually sit like how she's got it yeah, like this and just like sit like that because that's a lot more comfortable. But yeah, so that's the dinette. And then move on to the bathroom. So we put the we put this hanging hook up here um, for our towels, which is nice. But then sometimes it does get stuck on the other side, so we're just kind of gotta fix it. Um, in and this is another area that we absolutely hate is the shower space. So this is like <laughs> yeah, get in there. <laughs> so like the height wise. It's yeah, the height bad. one is, is fine. Except for the shower, though, too. It is kind of like, you know, I mean, that's nice when you're taking a shower, but when you're done, it kind of leaks on you. But this is this one that we just installed is nice. You can get it up out of the way. Yeah, we just installed that. Mm -hmm. And it's a, lot, it's a lot nicer. But, yeah, see, her, her footprint for the shower is not very big. And I think they could have done a better job because... Look how much counter space we have on the count or in the bathroom. Like we have more counter space in the bathroom than we do our kitchen. Yeah, that's like here's. It's not like there's a lot of stuff under there. Yeah, there's not a lot of storage because they got it blocked off with pipes and stuff. And but there's but, not a lot of stuff taking up space, so they totally could have pushed that counter back. Yeah, but one thing I'd did good is uh mount the toilet paper hold it inside the latch so it wouldn't get wet or anything so that's been working good yeah and uh i mounted the towel rack holder up there and then i bought i bought this nice uh shelf from walmart because i was finding that sometimes we we're leaning a little and we'd pull up water here and get stuff wet that we didn't want wet so i mean it just easily folds down and just leave it in here and helps keep everything dry so that's been nice all right it's got a nice skylight nice fan yikes i just flushed the toilet it's okay <laughs> and another thing we didn't like before oh. we changed the shower head it had a lot of uh, stiffer hose and it would stay right here right in front of the nozzle and you'd have to move you'd have to keep it pushed over just to use the sink so that was annoying but this one's a lot better and this one stays out of your way a little more better but i guess that's it for the bathroom i have this wireless kind of switch light here that we could get and install i don't know possibly in here i don't I don't know if we could put it here though. It might be too thin, but it would give us nice light into this cabinet because it's really dark in here. Um, and we don't really have a light anywhere nearby that shines in there well. So just kind of use this to get in this deep shelving area, but it's really nice. I mean, I've put this like uh, plastic drawers and things in here to kind of give us some more room but it's been working out in there. So the, fir the first thing that we changed when we came in here was this nozzle here on the sink because it just stopped at the edge of this black part here. Yeah, it was just a standard nozzle on it. And it, this is very short. There's no extension or nothing like that. Yeah, so I'm, I mean, it wasn't, it was high up enough that when I used the water, you know, it wasn't, in the way or anything but then of course it only shot right down here so I don't know if here. so having this swivel nozzle like this is really nice i can get to all different angles of the sink versus that straight nozzle that was stuck just here yeah and that's an easy fix compared to changing the whole faucet out yeah which that's not really necessary i haven't i mean it is kind of low that when i do have some dishes or something in here it kind of gets stacked up but it hasn't been horrible because with the swivel no nozzle, I'm still able to get around. A lot of times, like, there's not a whole lot of counter space over here in the kitchen. So I'll end up putting this out, which is a nice addition because I can add that additional space um, to use as a countertop when I'm cooking and stuff. And then I'll throw things up on the bed as well. Um, this pull-out shelf here, 
I used it one time and I put a sponge here and it popped out while we were driving and it's lost in there now. <laughs> so I want to get a netting to put up around here and maybe um, pin it, tack it up here so that when I close it, it won't go out of the net. Uh, so I can actually use this drawer. But for now, we just leave it empty. Yeah, then that, like, you know, this isn't an easy access. It's, or it's not a cabinet or anything. It's just an yeah, access that's, panel. that's fixed. So, I mean, unless we want to unscrew this every time, that's, we're not going to do that. But we use the stove top a lot, the microwave a lot. Um, oh, I forgot our apple pie was in here. <laughs> um, so if you don't have one of these from Pampered Chef, you're going to want to get it. It's a steamer. And this is pretty much what I cook everything in while we're camping. Um, it's a steamer. So it cooks everything really well. Potatoes, broccoli, any kind of veggies and stuff. And then, of course, I can just leave the lid off and use it as a bowl. So most of the time when we're cooking, while we're camping, I use this in the microwave. Um, yeah, we use the oven a lot, too. Yeah, and I just found out, I don't know if it's because I'm blonde or what, that the pilot, not only do you light it first to get your oven started, but you can leave it on the whole time you're camping. So, yeah, sorry for my blondness, mm -hmm. but I love that because then now I just start it when we first cook in the oven and I leave the pilot lit the whole time and then it's super easy to just turn it up and use it when I need. So, that was fun down here you got a uh, 120 plug and that box is your solar panel so we've never used this plug it's pretty useless down there they could have uh, put that somewhere else like the dinette yeah we have no plugs in the dinette area at all that yeah. is our closest plug yeah so we got one down there one in the kitchen and the two up near the bed area and then there is one behind the tv as well but oh, yeah. obviously we would use that for tv connections we bring our fire stick a lot so we'll plug that in there yeah but yeah this this plug down here i've used it one time when i was vacuuming here at home but on the road it's i mean what do you just think if i put a cord there everything's gonna be in my way yeah when i come up here that's kind of the kitchen area for you and this little cubby hole right here is pretty useful. We keep our camping chairs in there. Yeah, I like that. Definitely love hidden cubbies. Um, One thing that they should have changed the position of is this uh, fire alarm or smoke detector, whatever you want to call it. Because in that spot right there, it goes off a lot. I don't know if it would change anything putting it somewhere else but yeah it goes off quite a bit yeah and our ac unit um i think we mentioned right after we bought it that we got an upgraded one yeah we got an upgraded uh uh it's a coleman i think yeah coleman instead of the dometic um but yeah it's a fifteen thousand btu so the guy that we bought it from the dealer um said they ran out of 13 fives and so they put a 15k and i was like okay that's that's gonna freeze us out but yeah it's really loud yeah it's, it's pretty loud so, that's low cool right there and like this close we can talk well you're talking loud too can yeah. you hear me if I talk like normal? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to hear and have a conversation with that on. Let me help. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. it's a lot of times, especially if it's on while I'm cooking in here, and if Mike's outside and he pops his head in to say something, I'm like, oh, wait, and I have to kind of go by the door because I can't hear anything in here with that on. Yeah. And then another thing that we found that we don't really love about this truck camper and this would probably this is for sure one of the reasons why we would go to an upgraded um bigger sized 
anything is because we found we're moving stuff around a lot um, because it will be in our way. So during the day, we'll use the bed as storage and we'll have things up here. And then obviously at night we need the bed, so we'll move it around and put it maybe on the dinette or by the feet area. Yeah. But then when we eat there, we need to move it because, you know, there's not a lot of space to store things while you're using it. I don't know. Does that make sense? It's kind of... Yeah. yeah. We found like this area yeah. down here is a uh, pretty good because this is our uh, fuse panel. So we don't go into here at all. So I'll usually leave a trash can here or maybe some things out of the way here. Um, and then, of course, back here, there's about uh, seven inches of space. So we can put some stuff here, too, because we're not sliding the slide in and out. But as far as that, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, we usually keep our dirty clothes bagged right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because then, like, I mean, I guess we could kind of put stuff here because we don't usually use this part of the step, but you're not going to want to block this step. You know, it's kind of, that's the one thing that we have found that's annoying is we are moving stuff around a lot. Um, when we when we do go camping, I mean, I guess I could find a better area to store food as well, but I've just so far been throwing it up here on the counter, so I lose a lot of that counter space with um, our food, but... Even if we had that counter space, it's not an area that I would be putting like a day bag or anything like that anyways. We've also noticed like on these, the fresh black and gray um, indicators that they always, they're not always uh, very accurate. Sometimes it'll read two, sometimes it'll read one and it'll go back to three and it's very weird. And all of it like all within the same trip. Yeah, with all in the same trip. Like without us that. even moving. So yeah, that's that's kind of annoying because you can't really we've got it down to where we can judge how much we use and stuff like that. So I mean it's not really a problem, but it's just weird. Of course we love the fridge and freezer. Um we use the freezer somewhat we use the fridge a lot more um but usually i turn it off when we're not using it and we're just storing it at home there's no reason to have it running our propane or our electric and then maybe a day or so before our trip i'll come in and turn it on let it cool down and then i'll stock it up um before we leave but i also i got this idea from my mom actually but i've been able to on some trips, freeze ice in our little ice cube trays. And then once it's frozen, I'll dump it in this bucket and I'll just keep this bucket in the freezer. So then I can have a whole tub of ice. So that's been nice to do because a lot of times we'll bring our cooler and go out on the boat or even if we do with the side by side, we haven't done that yet. But um, instead of having to go out and buy ice every day or all the time, I just have our ice stored up in this little container. So that's nice. Yeah, even if we uh, buy a bag of ice at the store, we can actually fit a whole bag of like a 10 pound bag of ice in there. So that's nice. Yeah. I had to add this uh, sticky label on the fridge for me too, because of course one time I left it out, which means it's using gas versus in where it chooses. And uh, ran down all of our propane. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, maybe after the fifth time we used our camper, we already need to go refill our propane and we have a pretty big tank, right? Yeah, it's a 30 pound. 30 pound tank that I just ran out. So, um, so I put that sticker there. So w with these blinds, I wanted to do it so I can pull them up and just leave them open. But every time I do that, you know, it has this holder here, so it's not banging around. But if I disconnect this often, then it ends up falling from up here because it's not quite, I don't know, it's attached. It's very finicky. It's so, very cheaply made, just put it that way. Yeah, and um, I don't know why they wouldn't use a, the same shades as everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, so we have these, uh, like, okay. night shades. Okay. Yeah. And... They, this is the only window that they didn't put it on and they put this style on. I don't understand why. Yeah, so, I mean, 
I'll, I've learned my lesson to just kind of twist it open and leave it like that, but then it's just a little bit, you know, I have, to, when I want to open the window, I kind of just doing this with the blinds. Yeah. But I mean, I kind of have no choice because I'd rather just do that before I was very annoyed with by these blinds because every time I would pull this up, they would fall down and crash down and it was just way horrible. So I just leave them be and just open and close them. But it is weird that they did not use that same shade. Speaking of shades, like, I mean, I know there's nothing they can do, but this shade annoys me because it's on the other side of the screen. So in order for me to open and close it, Yeah, that's a process. Yeah, I have to go out there. There's no way that I could be like, oh, let me just do it real quick. You know, and I mean, you, you gotta go outside to open or close it. So that does annoy me, but I do like that the window's back there. I like the shade is there, you know, so it's not really, I guess, a complaint, just more of an annoyance. Um, because a lot of times we do end up leaving just the door open and shutting the screen. I like doing that a lot. Um, we love the bed. We lucked out with a pillow top type bed where most of the camping beds we sat on uh, when we were looking for a camper were those hard cardboard ones, but this one's actually really comfortable. And I think I did add like a slight little pillow top to it, but the bed, the mattress itself is really nice. Um, the four, first few times that we went camping, uh, I was bringing like a bag with our clothes in it and that was really annoying. I didn't know why I was moving that around all the time. and so. I finally was smart and decided to just leave clothes in here. So we use, we have one of these shelves on either side of the bed. So I just store Mike's clothes over there. I'll store my clothes over here. And then they're tucked away and out of the way for the trip. So that's very convenient now, just leaving that. And then also at the end of the trip, I just leave it in there. So, um, I mean, it's a couple clothes that we won't miss, you know, not having them in the house. So that makes packing easier the next time. So um, I just only have to grab a handful of things to throw in there to pack. Not It's not full packing every time. And then same thing. Oh no, our pole <laughs> fell. <laughs> okay, don't look at this. <laughs> so this pole is not all the way long enough because it falls sometimes. It's been a while since it fell, but. All right, so same thing in here. This is our more like kind of winter clothes stuff because we have jackets in here and then some shirts. Um, but I just leave them in here when we need them, we have them. There is this compartment under here, you know, but I'll just, I leave sheets in here and a few extra things like that because with the clothes hanging in here, it's very inconvenient to open this and close it all the time. So I just put our extra sheets back in there. And then you can see my foot's off the bed here. So I have this huge gap on my side of the bed that runs the length of the bed. And then Mike has yeah, a gap, a on this side gap as well, but his obviously stops right there. But um, so we have the gap, which I, it's nice because I can store stuff down here, um, like my book and things like that. So it's like a little extra storage area, but that's it. So let me tell you about this thing right here. So the top of this part of the roof in here is probably, it goes up this high. So that much further on this side. And you can see this is, so it comes down lower on this side than here. So this is obviously like a seam cover. Yeah. But, um, you know, if you're, if I'm over here doing the window or something and I back out, I just have to be careful so I don't hit my head up on there. Yeah, it's, I don't know why they had to make it so oh, no. long. Long? Oh, you mean long down here? Yeah. Yeah, because like Stick I said, this, so this side has this much space, so they totally could have cut it off like and here. an angle, at least at an angle, and, yeah. and made it blend in a little bit better. Yeah, because this, I mean, even this shelf back here has a rounded edge. Yeah. So they could have done the same thing up here, made the rounded edge. All right, so that wraps it up for 
uh, six month review slash things we don't like, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, things we love, don't like. So, things we change. Yeah, modifications. But, so let us know what you think below. Like if you love what we did, hate what we did. I mean, if you have any other ideas that you want to throw out at us, we're always welcoming to it. So yeah, uh, yeah. give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Yeah, catch you on the next adventure. See you.